Hello, today's RAI Info Tech Notes topic is LiDAR waveform processing. Sounds complicated and techy, but I will break it down so that we as normal LiDAR users can understand it. What kind of different LiDAR technologies are available on the market? This block diagram gives a good overview. Orange blocks are highlighting Regal technology. Regal is using pulse time of flight LiDAR systems. There are other systems on the market. For TLS in short range application, so-called phase-based LiDAR systems. In ALS, you heard maybe also the term single photon or Geiger mode LiDAR. These are analog discrete return systems, not offering the advantages of full waveform processing. Regal is using so-called echo digitizing LiDAR, enabling full waveform data. This results in precise, high accurate and attribute rich point clouds. How a Regal LiDAR system works was already covered by an earlier tech note. Just as a reminder, every Regal scanner delivers a digital data stream sampled at a sampled at an extreme high rate from the analog echo signal. Regal provides two different signal processing approaches. Full waveform analysis on the one side and online waveform processing on the other side. I will explain both of them. Let us start with full waveform analysis. Full waveform analysis is done offline in post-processing. This means that the digital data stream containing target information has to be stored either on the instrument or an external mass storage device. In post-processing, the original analog signal is extracted out of the digital data stream. Next, the full waveform analysis algorithm fits Gaussian curves into the single peaks of the echo signal. This is called Gaussian decomposition. The peak of each curve gives the exact range position on the time axis. The amplitude is the echo signal strength from which the reflectance attribute value is calculated. The pulse width is an extra attribute which can be used for data quality classification. That was the principle of full waveform analysis. Online waveform processing is a fully different approach. As the name already includes, it is working in real time online. There is no need for permanent saving of the digital data stream. Each and every Regal LiDAR system is calibrated on our calibration field. There are hundreds of targets of different material and different surfaces at different ranges with different reflectance values. All resulting echo signal waveforms are collected and combined by interpolating between the most similar waveforms, which results in a surface of possible echo waveforms. This, wave, this waveform surface is like the fingerprint of the scanner. For each and every scanner, it looks slightly different. Online waveform processing searches for the best fitting slice within that surface for every single waveform peak. Same as with full waveform analysis, the peak gives the most accurate range value on the time axis while the amplitude value is again used to calculate the reflectance value of this measurement. No slice of the surface fits absolutely perfect. The differences between the slice from the calibration waveform surface and the real signal are summarized and deliver the attribute pulse shape deviation. The larger this value, the lower the quality of the measurement. Now you have a clear understanding of LiDAR waveform processing. See you next time on RAI Info channel when presenting the next tech note. Thank you.